how to mint nfts on object.com hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can mint nfts on object.com so having said that let's just jump into the video now i'm over here onto their main website called object.com and once we're over here we can just simply go ahead and sign up now to actually sign up onto this website we're going to go ahead and create a wallet so for me uh what i want to do is i want to create a wallet for tezos now tezos is a cryptocurrency now the benefits of using tezos is that we won't have to pay any gas fees when minting nfts so it's pretty simple now if i come over here onto sync i click over here it will say we can go with the galleon wallet or kukai wallet umami we have air gap wallet autonomy we have temple wallet non wallet and all of that right so for me i'm going to be using the kukai wallet i'm going to click on kukai it's going to take me over here onto the application over here as you can see onto their main website wallet.kukai.app and once you're over here we can go ahead and create a new wallet now you can go ahead and sign in with other socials such as google or facebook or twitter or even reddit but or reddit or you can go ahead and create a new wallet by clicking on create a new wallet button over here at the top right corner so we're going to click on the button and over here it, they're going to show you you know your backup seed basically a uh you know a master key like a 12 word key that you have to go ahead and copy and then wrote it down right so i'm going to go ahead and reveal it and then we're going to copy that and then we're going to move on all right so now that i have copied it now we're going to click on next and then over here we have to put in uh you know the fourth word all right so word number three is going to be mouse the fourth word is going to be something that i've written down and then word five is going to be staff so we're going to go ahead and copy it and see where it is and once i've done this we can move on so one two arrange vendor and then we should be good to go there we go then we just simply click on next and now we just set up our password and we should be good to go and once you've done that just simply click on next and wait for it to confirm and we should be good to go all right so this is our public address now we can go ahead and download the encryption key all right and save it so that we can go ahead and use it if we ever forget the encryption key we can go ahead and use it then we just simply click on open wallet and we are good to go so over here as you can see this is how it looks like we have a permission from object.com since we already clicked on the button so now what we'll do is we'll just simply approve it and then over here we are waiting for the confirmation and we should be good to go now over here as you can see we have zero tezos uh, we can go ahead and buy and we can add more tezos over here we have our wallet address over here we can copy it uh, address qr and then we can add a new account by clicking on this plus icon but for that if we click on over here we have to enter in a password again to create a new wallet address now it still hasn't figured it out maybe if i do it again we should be good to go so we click over here on kukai it's loading up there we go in establishing connection it's opened up over here we have it again now we have this we just simply click on approve and now we are good to go we just enter in our password again and then we just simply click on the sign in then it's going to sign the transaction load it and over here as you can see successfully signed the payload and now we are good to go this is the signature you could copy that as well all right so we are good to go now that all that's left for us to do is to mint nfts pretty simple right so to do that just simply click on your wallet over here i believe it's going to show up all of your wallet but in order to actually mint it what you can do is click on your profile click over here you will also have a create button as well but you can edit your profile over here click on edit profile and you can you know change the avatar as well and all of that so over here control your identity on tezos so this works on tezos so we just simply click on the wallet over here mainnet we this is not our wallet actually we don't need to go into that that's very deep uh, it'll take us that's not the object of this video so again simply click on the profile option and over here you can edit it if you want to but if you want to create nfts or mint nft just simply click on the create button over here it's going to take you over here where you can create it so you have create token or create collection right so you can do it anything so you can create it over here so if you want to create a collection just enter in uh, the name the art the type of collection it is 
right and the description so we'll just say it is budget crypto punks i've already created it right so over here let me just upload the file now if you don't believe me that well let me just actually show you so over here as you can see in the assets folder i have a bunch of different nfts but they're in webp format so actually let me go ahead and you know switch them up and then we can go ahead and move on so i'm basically using the xn converter to convert my images let me go into output over here all right it's in jpeg can we switch it to png here we go png there we go and then we have the file name we'll keep it at that and then for the output we're going to click over here we're going to say converted now when i created these nfts i forgot to change the uh you know the format of these nfts so that's why they're in wp so now we just simply click on converted it's going to convert all of the nfts into pngs so that we can upload them over here onto object.com there we go they're converted let me see over here there we go as you can see they're now converted all 100 nfts are now converted so now we just simply click over here and upload our nfts here we go for this one i'm just simply or we can go with everyone no we only want one for the look of it there we go and then we over here we add the description it's a over here you can add your own description of nfts but for me i'm just simply gonna write uh you know it's and then just simply click on create and then it's going to upload and we, it also requires you you know it's going to cost you at least uh one tezos all right as you can see over here creating a collection will cost you around one tezos so we need to add some tezos within our cryptocurrency wallet so let's me actually go ahead and do that okay so i actually can't buy it because it's currently not available in my region uh, I tried to, you know, add the wallet address as well, but it didn't work because my KuCoin account has suspended my transaction to public domains or public addresses for now. I don't know why, but I can't really buy any Tezos as of this moment, but you generally get the idea, right? You buy it and then you just simply click on create and once it's created, you are good to go. So now let's go ahead and then you can go ahead and create your nft as well the exact same way just uh drag and drop all of your nfts right one by one within that new collection and name them and you should be good to go and then once you've done that you are you will have minted your nfts on object.com and it's pretty amazing so again i'm sorry i couldn't show you but due to some technical difficulties i couldn't actually create it but the process is very similar as i said before the exact same way when it comes you just name your nft you add in your collection and on the which blockchain you want to add it on and then you just choose which nft you want to import and you will be good to go so anyway that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye